PubMed is a powerful tool for anyone searching for information in the areas of medicine, nursing, or allied health. But it can be overwhelming since it has over 22 million citations and more are added every day. Here are a few tips and tricks to improve your next PubMed search. First, you'll need to go to the ISU Library website, which can be found at isu.edu forward slash library, or you can go to the Quick Links tab from any ISU page and just click on Library. From the library's homepage, go ahead and go to the Idaho Health Sciences Library link, and from the Idaho Health Sciences Library page, go down to PubMed. PubMed is a free database to search, but that doesn't mean that you'll have access to the full text articles for everything you find. If you log in via the ISU Library website, you will have um, a greater chance of finding the articles that you'll need. When you first get to PubMed's website, you'll need to enter in your search terms. PubMed is very good at mapping or finding the subject headings that match the words that you entered, so while it's best to search with subject headings, it's not always necessary. In this example, we're going to search for articles that talk about the cases of burnout in nurses. And so we'll just type in burnout, and nurse. And since I want to search on both nurse and nurses, I'm going to enter in what's called a truncation symbol. In PubMed, this is an asterisk. This is asking PubMed to search for both articles where um, nurse and nurses will occur. And then you just click on search. All right, this found almost uh, 3,000 articles, about 2,700 articles on burnout and nurse or nurses, and you can see both nurse and nurses is, um, have occurred in the search titles here. Now PubMed is sorted into three different columns. On the left hand side you have some filters which will help narrow your search, and on the right hand side you have some similar filters that will again help narrow your search, which is good since there's so many articles that are included within PubMed. In the middle section you have your search results. Some of the ways you can limit a search are, by, are um, the first one is by article types. And this can be very handy, especially if you're searching for maybe some evidence-based information. You can click on more, and you can scroll down to see all the different types of article types that are included within PubMed. You can also limit to text availability. That includes free full text and full text. I usually ask not to limit on these just yet, just because you might miss some good information. You can also limit by publication date, species, which is good when you're doing, um, doing research that has articles both focused on humans and animals. If you just want humans, that's a good way to narrow it down. And the final one um, is languages. Of course, the most common one is English, but if you speak more than one language, you can click on more and then you can do go down and click the languages that you speak, select show, and then PubMed will include articles that are written in those languages as well. On the right hand side you have additional filters or additional ways to narrow your search. You can quickly limit it to English and humans, free full text, or this very handy link which is articles that are available through the ISU library, Nursing journals, again, is very handy, or a couple more ways to limit it by date. And if you're looking for an article that's an overview of your topic, review is also a very good way to do that. We are going to narrow our search because we have 2,700 different articles, and we definitely don't need that many. The first way we're going to do this is that we will narrow it by date. So I only want articles that were published in the last five years. And I'll select it over here on the left hand side. Okay, it tells me the filter is activated and we go from 2700 articles to just 785. I also want just English. And that narrows it to 708. That's looking a little better. Now what I'm interested in is going over here and limiting to just articles that are available in nursing journals. 
All right, that's down to 513. That's still a lot, but it's a lot less than 2700. Now we want to see quickly what articles are available at the ISU library. And the way to do this is to click on display settings at the top. This will bring up a format column items per page so you can have as little as five items per page or as many as 200. You can also change the way that PubMed sorts your results. It defaults to recently added. But the way to search for items available in full text through the ISU library is to select abstract and then click apply. Now we will see the title, the author, all the additional information, including an abstract. And if you see this Find It at ISU button, that means that we have it at the ISU library, either in print or an electronic version, or both. And all you would need to do to get to the full text is just click on the Find It at ISU button, and it will give you additional options. Sometimes you're going to be doing searches when you want to be able to keep track of your articles. One way to do that within PubMed is to select the articles that you want and then come back up to the Send To button and send it to the clipboard. The clipboard is a feature where you can temporarily store the articles that you found for up to eight hours. It will store up to 500 articles at a time. Once you start adding items to your clipboard, the little clipboard icon will appear at the top and then you can just click on this to get to your clipboard items. And from here, you can click on Send To again and you can either email those items to yourself, save it to a file like flash drive or your computer, or save it to Citation Manager if you're using something like EndNote or RefWorks. Now, one last tip that we're going to look at is how to quickly find evidence-based information using PubMed. We will go back here to the PubMed icon. And this is the main page again of PubMed. We're going to click on Clinical Queries. Now there are three different columns within Clinical Queries. The only one we're going to focus on for now are Systematic Reviews. So you'll enter your search term. In this case, we're interested in finding out if acupuncture it can be an effective treatment for cancer pain. Okay, in the systematic reviews column, we found five. It's displaying five out of the 36 articles that it found that it consider, considers to be systematic reviews on our topic. If you want to see all of the articles it found, You'll click on See All. You can see that it has limited it from the 36 it showed us originally to just 22. That's because our limits from earlier are still in place. You can click Clear All. Okay, again from here you can sort, you can display it to abstract to see which ones the ISU library has, or you can just quickly click on the Idaho State University. And those are the articles that we should have available in the library. That is just a very quick way to search for systematic reviews on a particular topic. All right, so PubMed is a very good database for searching for all kinds of information, including medicine, allied health, and nursing. And I hope these few tips that we've included in this um, article have been helpful. Thank you very much. Feel free to ask any librarians if you need additional assistance.